Halo 3 projectile behavior at 30 hertz versus 60 hertz. Or why players have a different experience in MCC, which is 60 hertz, versus Legacy, which was 30 hertz. Today's video is going to focus on how the battle rifle fires at 30 hertz versus 60 hertz. How a firefight between two players with a battle rifle works at 30 hertz versus 60 hertz. And what a fix looks like for aligning 60 hertz behavior with 30 hertz. What will not be covered are issues around networking latency, how the game simulation handles actions, and how the host reconstructs the client's aim. A few caveats to consider. This is a debug PC build. I have object and projectile debugging enabled. There's no PC rendering interpolation code as was added to Halo 3 for PC's launch. And all testing was done on the multiplayer map Foundry. Foundry has a grid-like pattern on the floor, which helps visualize distance. Quick refresher on game ticks. The game doesn't update game logic in real time. Instead, it uses a tick rate to determine how frequently it goes and updates subsystems like objects, AI, scripting, etc. At 30 hertz, this means 30 times per second, it's going to run a game logic update. Or every 0 0.033 seconds, it's going to run a game tick. And at 60 hertz, it's a higher frequency, so every 0 0.0167 seconds, it's going to update game logic. What happens between every game tick is it has to fill in the blanks between that delta, unlike with PC rendering interpolation where it smooths out what a animation is displaying, like with a uh, reloading a gun. So at 30 hertz, the game is going to have to the game is going to have to look at how far a projectile will move given its designer specified velocity after 0 0.033 seconds. It could collide with something, it could ricochet off something, but it's going to have to determine that in that game logic update. At 60 hertz it's a higher frequency, so it's going to look at a smaller range because it's slicing that second up into smaller Time steps. So our focus is on the battle rifles projectile, which travels at 180 world units per second. Now, a world unit is not one meter or one foot. It's specific to the game. And what that means is at 30 hertz, when going from point A to point B, as it does every tick, it has to look at the next six world units. But at 60 hertz, that second is split up into more slices. If it were a pizza, it would be like a double slice in a pizza. But it, every tick, it looks at three roll units, what it collides with, if anything. For additional context, the foundry courtyard is roughly 12 roll units wide. And for those interested, the H2 battle rifle projectile travels at 400 roll units per second while the Reach DMR projectile travels at 3,000 full units per second. So how does weapon fire behave on the host? Well, for tick zero, the player pulls the trigger and there's firing effects like the muzzle flash. But it's not until the next tick where we have the actual projectile creation. And this is to help better align with the experience that a client has because it has to tell the, the host that, hey, I pulled the trigger on this tick. And there's a little bit of latency, but we're not covering that for this video. So the next tick, the projectile is created, and it goes through its initial tick behavior, which includes, or for the battle rifle, includes an instantaneous update, which is effectively a hit scan of sorts. But then also, it does a regular projectile update. Now, if you recall from the previous slide, at 30 hertz, it looks at the next six world units. 
to see if it collides with anything. And at 60 hertz, it looks at the next three roll units because it's going to update at twice the frequency at 30 hertz. No information is being lost, it's just looking at a different range. So in tick one, the instantaneous update at 30 hertz is going to look at six world units, and then the regular projectile update is going to look at another six world units. But at 60 hertz, that instantaneous update is going to look at three world units, and then it's going to look at the next three world units in the regular projectile update. And then for all subsequent ticks, tick two and beyond, there's a regular projectile update. So 30 hertz sets plus six, plus six, plus six world units at 60 hertz. That's plus three, plus three, plus three. So what's the weapon fire behavior like when the client tells the host they fired their weapon? Well, from the client at tick zero, they send off a weapon fire request to the host. When we're on the host, it receives that weapon fire request, and so it performs the, on the host at least, it will perform the weapon fire initiation, so fire effects, muzzle flash, etc. But it's also going to create the projectile and perform the initial tick logic. So on host films, you will see the fire effects the same tick as the projectile creation. But when you're watching a host film, you will see the firing effects happen the tick before the projectile uh, creation tick. No information is lost. It's just a slight nuance to host versus client films. Anyway, so we have at tick one the firing effects, but the also the instantaneous update that effectively our hit scan and the regular projectile update. And then all subsequent ticks are just the regular projectile update. So what is the fix? What are we going to do? Well, we're going to change our behavior for tick one. We're going to make it so that the game treats the projectile update logic. So it's always in the context of a 30 hertz update. Even if the game was modded to set the tick rate to 15 hertz or to 120 hertz. The first tick where the projectile it has its instantaneous update and first regular projectile update, it's always going to be in the context of a 30 hertz update. So this means it's the, projectile, the BR projectile will always look ahead six world units to see if it collides with anything for its instantaneous update. And then for that first regular 30 hertz projectile, that first regular projectile update, it's going to behave like the 30 hertz version and look an additional six world units ahead. But for the all, all following six beyond that, it's going to behave as it normally would at the given tick rate. So at 30 hertz, that's the normal tick rate. It travels six world units, but at 60, 60 hertz, it travels at three world units per tick. So for the rest of this video, it's going to show examples that help explain some of the topics we've talked about from these various slides. So it's going to include how the VR fires at 30 hertz, what, what happens in the game, then what happens in the game when firing the BR at 60 hertz? How a BR firefight between two players works in 30 hertz? How a BR firefight at 60 hertz works? A game between two players. And then finally, how a BR firefight at 60 hertz works with our fix that we proposed in the previous slide. So now we're in our 30 hertz film. The host has fired the weapon. And we're going to see in the next tick, the projectile is created and updated. Now that's 12 world units, roughly. It's half the courtyard. 
That's our instantaneous update and regular projectile update. Now we're going to see what happens in tick 2 and beyond with just a regular projectile update. Now there's 6 world units, roughly. And then we collide the wall and our other rounds from the, the burst. So now we're in a 60 hertz film on the host. The host has fired the weapon. In the next tick, the projectile will be created. Now it's only traveled six world units. Three for instantaneous and three for regular projectile update. Now, that's a regular projectile update. That's three world units. Another three, another three, another three. Apply to the wall. There are previous bursts of the two projectiles. Now we're in a 30 hertz film of a firefight between two players. Red player is the host, blue player is the client. Now we see here the firing effects and the projectile creation in the same frame, same tick. It's traveled far enough and it detected a collision before it traveled as far as it could in that tick. So now we're in a 60 hertz film of a firefight between two players. Again, red player is the host. Blue player is the client. So you'll notice here the projectile for its initial tick stopped a little short of where the player currently is. This is because at 60 hertz we have a higher tick rate and so Objects are moved a smaller distance every tick. And so there's no collision yet. But on the next tick, the player is going to move, and so will the projectile. And that's a hit. Now before I get to the video for our fixes, I want to look at what happens for rounds that miss the player. We're still at 60 hertz here. The, the projectile has traveled its six world units in that initial tick. And so the next tick is our tick two and beyond where the projectile is moving, but also the player is moving. That's a hit. First round of the BR burst. This is the second round. It seems like it may hit, but does it? It did not. It passed through, and the weapon on the player's back doesn't count. That's not a hit. That's three world units, because we're at 60 hertz. And here's the third BR shot. That also missed. Again, the player and the projectile are both moving. You can see a previous iteration's player died right on the left. Another burst. Another burst. Only two rounds. And a third one missed. A couple more missed. And dead. So now we're in a 60 hertz film, but 
this was recorded with our fixes that we're making so that the initial tick, the instantaneous update, and the regular projectile update travels just as it would at 30 hertz. So there, you can see at 60 hertz, it's colliding with the player in that initial tick. Whereas before, without our fixes, at 60 hertz, the projectile is stopping at six world units, which would be roughly around here. All of these are hitting. They're acting just like the 30 hertz game. So one more final example. We're in a 60 hertz film. We have the fixes enabled. But here we're going to see what happens when some rounds miss. So here we are on the first round's initial tick. Hit the player just as it would at 30 hertz. But there, we have a miss, ever so slightly. Now, we're at 60 hertz, and if you recall, at 30 hertz, that initial tick, the projectile travels 12 world units, which is roughly half the courtyard. And the client, the blue player, is shooting slightly ahead of half the courtyard. So this ends up slightly before the dumpster that's in the background. But all ticks after the initial tick are updated at the given tick rate, which is 60 hertz. So all additional ticks that projectile will move if it's unobstructed an additional three world units every tick. <laughs> 